Good morning, guys. It is Friday morning. Not a whole lot to report today, but I've done a video every day this week, so it'd be weird not to do one on Friday. So we're just gonna do it. So things are still selling. Last night on Amazon, I sold three weird things just last night. Uh, I sold a Sling TV box for a hundred bucks. I sold a CD opener, which is kind of weird for almost 30 bucks. And there was one more thing that came in last night. It's it's whatever this is, I can't, I can't remember right now. Oh, some sort of coaxial crimper tool, that's right. It was almost 30 bucks too. Um, so things are still selling. People still need stuff. People are still buying stuff. Definitely let me know how your guys' sales are. Let me know how you're doing with this adjustment period and everything. Because that's what it is, really. It's just an adjustment period. You have to go with the flow and make your changes as necessary. And eventually things will feel normal-ish. But right now, just, just get creative. So we do have t-shirts going out the second round. Got them all prepped and ready right here. So I'm going to give some thank yous. I do want to mention that we might pause the website for the t-shirts. I'm starting to get scared that they're going to close down the store where we get the t-shirts and I don't want people to have to wait for a long time if they order one. So we may pause it today, reevaluate Monday if they're still open. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do, but if you click on the link and see that the website's not up, that's all that's going on. So we'll see what happens. Also, I did go pick up that little MP3 player from yesterday. So I got to get that listed along with about 150 other things or more. Still working on all that. It's going to be a busy weekend. But anyway, the t-shirts that are going out today. Got my Ikea bag ready. I ran out of poly mailers, so that sucked. I have more coming in Monday, but we had to go with bubble mailers for today. Like I said in the beginning, I did not expect anyone to buy one. I love everyone just the same. But since these people bought one, I just want to give them a quick thank you and a quick shout out as I'm transferring their packages from my workbench to my Ikea bag. First off, Brian. Thank you so much, Brian. I really appreciate your order, man. And it should be there in a couple days. Next up, we got Steven. Steven, thank you so much, buddy. Your shirt will be there soon. I appreciate it, man. Then we have Heather. Thank you so much, Heather. I appreciate your order. It's all packed up and it'll be on its way to you today. Then we have one in a padded mailer because Lisa bought two. Thank you so much, Lisa. I really appreciate it. Lisa is the mother of Burgundy Cells on YouTube. Do yourself a favor. Go check out her son's channel, Burgundy Cells on YouTube. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. He's a great guy and his mother is a sweetheart. Next, we got my man Sam over at the Dapper Tiger YouTube channel. Make sure you check out Dapper Tiger. He just started recently, but he's already got a few videos, and he is doing a great job, and I love watching his channel. So, Sam, thank you very much. He asked me to sign his, actually, and I did. But, Sam, I wasn't sure how big to go. It's actually harder to sign a shirt than I would have thought. So, I didn't know how big to go. I wrote you a little message. If it's too obnoxious or something, just let me know. I'll send you a new shirt without writing. But he did ask me to sign it, so that's what I did for him. Sam, Dapper Tiger. Check him out. Another YouTube channel that I really enjoy, Flip with Chris. Chris, thank you so much. Chris works a full-time job, and he also sells on eBay, and he does a great job. His content's awesome. He's quite the hustler, and I enjoy him. He's a nice guy, too, so, so make sure you check out Flip with Chris on YouTube. Thanks, buddy. Another YouTuber, Kat, the nurse flipper. She is saving lives, and she's reselling, and she's documenting her entire journey. Make sure you check out Kat. Her channel's called The Nurse Flipper. She's awesome, and she's super supportive. Thank you, Kat. Then we have Janice. Thank you so much, Janice. I just, I just wrapped the light. Janice, thank you so much, Janice. I really appreciate it. I appreciate reading all your comments and everything, and you are a great person. Thank you, Janice. Last up, we have Patrick. Patrick is also a very supportive viewer. I appreciate reading all your comments, man. I appreciate you keeping me up on the things that you're finding and flipping. Always look forward to hearing from you, man, and I hope you enjoy the shirt, buddy. Thank you very much. Thanks to all of you guys. I really appreciate it. These will be on the way today, and you should have them early in the week, I would assume. Let me tell you, too, I did not have any experience with Big Cartel, which is the which is the domain that the store is on. It's just an easy store builder. But the ease of use with shipping and being able to import your Big Cartel store into Pirate Ship is awesome. If you're looking to build some sort of a e-commerce store for whatever reason, definitely look into Big Cartel because it's super easy to ship pirate ship and import and all that cool stuff real quick something i want to show you danny may asked on yesterday's video and i thought it was a good question how you can adjust the brightness using an iphone when you're trying to take ebay pictures um, if you want to give more exposure to your subject or less exposure and that's a good question so i'm going to show you exactly how to do that first of all ignore these shadows here because i'm still playing with the light i think i need to replace this light with something that goes over the top just to eliminate those shadows a little bit more but 
that's something I just have to work on. So just kind of ignore those shadows. It's not perfect by any means, but if you bring up your eBay photo app, line up the subject, tap the subject, it brings up this little sun icon right here. And if you press that sun up and down, you can make the exposure brighter or you can make it darker. So that's just a cool little hack so you can only use your phone and not have to use a separate camera or anything else. So down for darker, up for lighter, and get it to the desired brightness and you are good to go. That is how I take eBay photos. All right guys, so that about does it for me today. Like I said, not a lot on the agenda. Getting caught up the rest of the day probably, trying to trying to get as much done out here as possible. Um, continuing to organize and clean and just set myself up for success in the coming weeks. Brainstorming ideas right now for videos. Since there's not going to be a lot of sourcing going on as far as thrift stores and stuff like that for the next couple weeks or so. These little vlogs are fine, but I don't want to bombard you with my boring life all the time. So I want to add some other value to the community. I was kind of thinking about like the pawn shop videos and stuff like that. You know, I might as well start working on those. There's always the how to prep videos that I like to make, bolo videos, things like that. So, so that's the kind of stuff I'm working on right now. I did get a recommendation from the man himself, Cincinnati Picker. He wants a beer tutorial. So of course, I need to oblige that one. Just got to figure out the way to reflect reselling and beer tutorial. But I think I can probably do it. So look out for that one. But if you guys have any ideas or anything you want to learn that I may know how to do, maybe know enough about that I could research and figure it out and teach you. I don't know. That'd be cool. Just leave your comments down below. And we'll make it happen. Thanks, guys. Have a great weekend. Probably do a live stream on Sunday or something. Maybe a video tomorrow. I don't know. But I appreciate you guys watching. Have a great weekend. Keep making money. Stay safe. Stay healthy. I love you. See ya. When they hear that cha-ching And they all look at me I guess they'll know I'm buying this crap